happy because when I saw the question, I was like, I don't think that you should have to keep your morals and your ethics out of your personal brand. Um, you know, depending on what they are. But for myself, at least, you know, I believe strongly in animal rights, and um, you know, I have a lot of morals. And for example, I don't, I don't swear a lot in person, and uh, so by reflection of that, I never swear online. You know, even if I retweet something with swearing in it, I always take out the swear words and put in asterisks or whatever it is, just because I, I was brought up not to swear. And so my online extension of that is, you know, I don't believe that just because it's online it's acceptable or I should put it out there. And, you know, Scott Stratton at Unmarketing always says, you know, you shouldn't say anything online that you wouldn't want plastered on a billboard with your face next to it and your mom staring at it. So I yeah. always use that online. And I was just saying to Meryl and some of the students before that there have been times where I've bit my tongue online or I've typed something out and, and then erased it because I realized, do I really want to come across that snappy or do I really want to start something, a fight online? No. I mean, sometimes I disagree with people, but I just kind of let it simmer, just like I would in person, you know, if I disagree with you in person, am I always going to snap back at you? No, I might just bite my tongue or swallow it or, you know, maybe write a blog post about it or do something and after I reflected on it. So. It seemed, when I saw this question, it, it for me it was like, okay, but, you know, aren't we, as Bernays, uh, Edward Bernays would say, as public relations people, we're supposed to be providing advice based upon social responsibility. So if you don't have have your sort of if you don't have antenna with respect to what our ethics and what our morals, uh, then how can you provide that kind of advice, right? And so, I mean, that's whether it's online or in person. Yeah. You, you know, that's what you bring to your to your client or your or the person you're working with, whether you're in front of them or whether it's through social media. I think it's still the same. Situation. But you know, I mean, what you're doing online is 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 networking and so you want you know that's part of the exchange I think you know I mean you, I think you're probably a little more open online. And I think I, mean, I was going to say so what do you think the difference is between online and in person? Well there's I mean there really is no difference I mean but but the you know when you mediate something whether it's you're talking about online or whether you're talking about in person, when you, I, I'm mediating what I'm what I'm saying to you right now. I, I mean, it's being mediated by video. It's being mediated with the words that I choose, right? So when you mediate something, then you know you have an opportunity to amplify certain messages or turn down certain messages, and that that's that's the real only control that you have in terms of your identity, right? There's a way more opportunity across several social media platforms to to uh, sort of oh that's going to be anyhow but yeah sort of get.